Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife. If you haven't checked me out on Instagram, please go do that. My name is the same. It's the at symbol, then all lowercase, the Handbag Housewife. Please also don't forget that I have a giveaway going on that includes two Tory Burch items and one Dress Up My Purse item. All you have to do is go to my community page and comment under the picture. When you're there, you need to drop your Instagram handle so that I can contact you if you are the winner. Today I have something a little different for you. I have an unbagging, but not of a bag. I was perusing YouTube the other day and I came across a video by Shay Whitney. And you may see here that my mailman stuffed this so tight in my mailbox, I could not get it out without ripping it open. So you get a sneak peek. Can you guess what it is? Can you guess what it is? Probably not, but I was watching this video by Shay Whitney and I saw something that I wanted to get. She was doing looks for less, but I think she had her own spin on it. She would show something expensive and something not so expensive. And then you could guess if it was an expensive item or not. I used to watch Shay Whitney all the time and I still really like her, but with my channel focusing on handbags, I tend to watch mostly handbag videos. My first item is this blue peasant style blouse. I picked this because this is the color of, well, I think of it as the color of the seaside. When I go on beach vacations, all of the little boutiques have clothes that are this color or a little bit darker blue. This fabric is amazingly soft and look at the texture. I just love it. I'm hoping it really fits. So today I put on a form fitting tank as well as some can can denim because I figured it would go well with all three of these pieces. So let's give this a try. Let's see if it's a win. Already it's a good sign because this is not tight. And for some reason my arms tend to be bigger than my body. And sometimes I need to go up in size for my arms, but then the rest of it on me is huge. So I'm liking it so far. I'm gonna do a little half tuck in the front. So this is super light and airy, and I am in absolute love. I think I'm gonna go back and order another one. There was a floral print one too. I got this one because I thought the floral print was a little country, but now I think it would be kind of sweet. So this is a size small and I'm generally a medium, but I saw that it was oversized. So I got a small and I would give it a thumbs up. Let me just turn around so you can see the whole thing. It's got the side slit right here. And then of course it would probably look better if I steamed it, but it's gathered up here around the top. And then it's got the slit in the front. And let me see what fabric it's made out of. It's 100% cotton and you can wash it with similar colors. And I would hang it to dry because I hang everything to dry. So there's that one. I will link all of these below, but I want to say I got all three of them for around $80. They had a promotion going where you got an extra 20% off, I think, or maybe 25 but still, none of them were very expensive. This was the top that Shay Whitney recommended. She thought this looked expensive for what it was. And she did say on a few things, like an express item, that she thought it looked cheap, even though it wasn't cheap. It was $198. So this is called the, I think it's called the blouse or the shirt with sheen. But I'm noticing right off the bat that it doesn't really have a sheen. And whenever she was trying this on, she was showing all the different patterns. There's like, oh, there's like boats and trees and there's some birds in there. And she said, depending on what shirt you got, the pattern would be different. And I got it in a medium because when she posted her video, that was all that was left. But today they put a couple smalls on there. And so I went ahead and ordered two smalls. And the reason I did that is I got free shipping that way. And we do have an H&M in my town. And I figured I'd pick the one with the best pattern because I'm betting that this is too big for me, but it may not be. Let's just give it a shot and see. If I knew I couldn't get a small, I might decide to keep it. But since I am getting a small, I may 
go ahead and either return this if it's too big or just hang on to it till I get the other two and then I can decide. Okay, looking at this, it is really big. So let's do a little half tuck and see if that fixes it. The half tuck fixes so much in my opinion, but this is still pretty darn big. So I'm gonna say that this is probably gonna go back. I need to look at it up close in the mirror. In fact, I'm gonna do it really quick so I can tell you what I think. Actually, I kind of like it this size. Now when I go like this, it's just slightly tight right here. Nothing very much and it moves up because the sleeves are long. I like the long sleeves and I like how it covers my butt. And so, you know, this is not ruled out. I'm gonna try on the smalls when they get here and just see, but I'm digging this shirt and I think it's 100% polyester. So you can see it looks pretty darn good coming straight out of the packaging. So this is a win too, and it may be even more of a win when I get the small. I'll just have to wait and see on that one. Let me just get close and let you see the pattern. See there's mountains and water and sailboats and birds and sky. That's why I ordered two of the smalls because I just thought there's some trees. I thought I'd check out the patterns and pick the one I like best since there was more than one of them in stock. I may just wriggle out of this long ways. This last piece I'm really excited about. It's a shacket and I've had such good luck with H&M shackets. And this one I think is gonna be no exception. And by the way, Shay helped me pick out the blouse that I just showed you, but I picked these other two items out on my own so I can claim these. There was another YouTube channel that showed this one with the blue stripe. It was someone from the UK and I cannot remember what channel it was, but this one was the one I liked. So it is my own take. It's, it's got this cream blushy sort of stripe through it. And both the blue top and this top were size small. And just for reference, if you haven't watched me before, I'm 5'8", and I'm about 145 pounds, and I round that down because I don't like to say I weigh 148 pounds some days. So I just stick with 145. This is lined. So some of my jackets are lined, or some of my shackets are lined, and some of them are not. This is lined, and it is really thick. See, it's got a full lining in it. It feels like it's super nice quality. It's slippery on the inside. It has pockets. I didn't know that. And this outside, gosh, it almost feels like it's called, I think, a, a twill. Again, I'll link all three, but it feels sort of like flannel. This one was so inexpensive that it's a win. Even if I don't need a jacket that's quite this thick this time of year, I like the spring color and my goodness today, it is so cold outside. Let me show you the fabric up close. See, look, can you see that? It's got such beautiful texture to it. I really like it. I like the buttons too. And then the lining is this nice kind of satiny feeling material. So I would say yes, yes, and yes. And I may have to get more because I really like that peasant top. So I may order it in another color. Hope you enjoyed this try on haul from H&M and I'll be coming at you again soon with another video. Take care. And if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel, The Handbag Housewife. Bye.